So on the screen you can see the photos that we are going to work on today and our main goal will be remove this beautiful fence on the background just keeping the beautiful river and our couple. You can try just reach it with generative fill with one editing step and probably how your step will look like. You will select a rectangular marquee tool, select the area you would like to change, click with the right mouse button and choose generative fill right here river and generate. I didn't expect to see here any other results because I know how generative feel works very good with some uh, landscapes photos but when it's about subjects it really creates some mess on the photo. Let's check other versions. I'm sure you would not want to follow with this option so let's remove our layer and let's make everything beautifully and professionally. For this our first step will be duplicating the main layer. Just click on the main layer with left mouse button and drag it on a plus icon in the square down below. That will automatically create a duplicate layer which we will name subject. Our first layer will be background layer. Our next step will be protecting subjects from the future photo manipulation. We'll choose an object selection tool, select near select subject button cloud detailed results and you have two options. You can just click on the subjects holding shift and it will create a common selection of two subjects or for example you can just drag the area around the subject and Photoshop will automatically select the subjects. Now when subjects are selected, let's click on the subjects layer and apply mask, click on this icon down below. Everything you can see in black color on the mask is hidden and everything that you can see in white color on the mask is visible. So our subjects are stay on this layer and you can easily check it by turning off and on the bottom layer. Now let's proceed with our next step, which will be removing completely subjects from the photo. I do it because I understand how generative field may focus on different subject or object on the background and can create further manipulation based on this part of the subjects or objects. That is why let's completely remove subjects to not give a chance to generative field to disappoint us with the final result. For this, just hold Command key on the keyboard and with left mouse button Wait until this little icon appears near the mouse and click on the mask. This will automatically activate the selection. Now on the top menu bar go to the select section, modify and expand. This process will help us to create a little gap on the photo between subject and future selection. I will choose 10 pixels, so let's click OK. And you can see a little gap between subject and selection is appeared. Now let's go on the background layer because this is exactly the layer where we are going to erase our subjects. And click with right mouse button and choose generate a fill. Now you can leave this field empty or put dot inside the field. That will give an understanding to generative field feature that it have to fill the selected area with the background which is similar to the background around the selection. So let's click generate. Now you cannot see any results obviously because I forgot to turn off the top layer but there is no mistake in it. So let's just turn it off and see how our subject mysteriously disappear. Let's join these two layers into one. For this just hold shift on your keyboard, select the bottom layer and let's click with the right mouse button and choose convert to smart object. Background. Now we have two layers. One is background without the subject and one layer only subjects. And the most interesting part of the process is started because exactly now you can make any kind of photo manipulation on your photo which will not touch your subjects. For this let's select rectangular marquee tool and select the area we would like to modify. Click with right mouse button and choose generate a fill and I will type river because it's exactly what I would like to see. And we got such results. I think it have to be some kind of bird or maybe swan. But let's see what another results generative field provide us with. This is very nice one. I will just remove this bird by repeating the same action. Generative field dot generate. 
Now let's see how the final results looking with our subjects on the photo. When we bring back our subject, you may see that something still a bit not right. I can see by the shadows under the feet because shadow completely disappeared after photo manipulation. So we need just to bring back a bit of the original photo to our new photo. For this, select the mask layer, choose the brush tool and select white main color. And now you can erase a bit the area under the feet, so reach the same realism. of the photo like it was original photo and you can go around the subjects and just see some such kind of areas that perhaps you would like a bit modify by erasing non-needed moments Remember that if you want to bring back something from the original photo I would like to make the skin more even you need to choose the white main color and just paint over if you would like to hide something for example such areas that you obviously can say uh, left from the original photo just choose the black main color and paint over this area and they will disappear and that's it only in few steps by using a generative fill from photoshop and a bit of advanced photo manipulation techniques you can reach a beautiful photo manipulation by changing the background behind your subjects or object without losing quality and without losing a beautiful results if you enjoyed this tutorial, leave your big thumb up under this video and of course subscribe on my channel and click the bell button to always be aware of the new editing tutorials on the channel. And I hope to see you very soon in new editing videos. Bye bye!